guys, it's Kim Mosley. Um, uh, tonight, uh, I was thinking about um, all kinds of things that, uh, that are going on in the world right now. I know a lot of people are saying that, um, you know, World War III could break out at any moment and our enemies are plotting against us. So it got me to thinking, you know, we are God's people. We're his children and uh, he protects his own. So no matter what, just like I did my uh, video last night on, um, you know, fear not, Jesus is coming. And, and yes, he is, and he is our blessed hope um, uh, in the face of all of this. But I got to thinking about the, the perfect thing to uh, uh, read to you guys that I think that really kind of sums it up. And um, David, uh, the sweet psalmist of Israel, puts it best in Psalm 31. So I wanted to read that with you tonight, brothers and sisters. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated those who regard useless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in, in adversities, and you have not shut me up into the hand of my enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eyes waste away with grief, yes, my soul and my body, for my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength falls because of my iniquity, and my bones waste away. I am re a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors. I'm repulsive to, their, to my acquaintances, for those who see me outside will flee. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am a broken vessel, for I hear slander of many. Fear is on every side. While they take counsel together against me, they scheme to take away my life. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand, and deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Do not let me be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them silence in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak insolent things proudly and contemptuously against your righteousness. Oh, how great is your goodness! which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you in the presence of the sons of men, you shall hide them in a secret place of your presence from the plots of man. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I say in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard my voice of my supplications when I cried out to you. Oh, love the Lord, all you of his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful and fully repays the proud person. Be of good courage. He has strengthened your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Praise his holy name tonight, guys. Um, and it got me to thinking also about uh, the Apostle Paul when he's talking um, in, uh, it's in Titus. Uh, in chapter 2, if you guys will turn to uh, verse 11, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from among every lawless deed and purity for himself, his own special people, zealous for good works. Isn't that great, guys? And I mean, so if, if anything, we should be looking forward to that blessed day and do not have fear of the things coming on this earth. We don't have to be um, uh, have our hearts failing for things that we see coming on the earth because we know that um, our redemption draws nigh. When these things happen, wars and rumors of wars, um, that it is only mean that we're closer to his appearing. So um, he will appear without sin and to salvation for those who love him. So just keep that in mind, brothers and sisters, and I know I'll talk to you soon.